Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Timber and Stone. Um, it's been a little bit since I played, about a, over a week. Um, apologies. I do intend to play more than that. I've just been, uh, I've been, uh, well, lazy, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Um, So, we're still just kind of building things here, still waiting. What are you waiting on? He has stopped building. You need... What do you need? Are you waiting on timber? Yeah, he must be waiting on timber. So, where's our carpenter? Where is our carpenter doing? Our carpenter... Oh, I don't have him. What is he doing? Oh, he's our engineer right now. And he's just standing there too. Okay. I wasn't training up and he knocked out all the dummies. I guess we don't have... Or we still... Still don't have hay. That's what it was. Or, uh, we're low on hay. How much hay do we have? 38. We have hay. Do we not have twine? Oh, we don't have enough twine. What you waiting on? Dude, you got stuff to do. Twine to make. Do I not have it set to maintain? We have 10. 10 twine. Maintain an inventory. What do, uh... What do the dummies take? Hold on a second. Uh, objects. Military. Oh, we're waiting on timber. Well, he's making it right now. So, yeah, that's good. Merchant has arrived. And let's get our trader going. Who is our best trader? Thomas. You are our best trader. Actually, Astor, since you're not doing anything, you could be the trader. Maybe you'll fare better. Do we have anything selected for selling? What do we have to sell? Wheat? No, we need that. Uh, I kind of need that for torches. I guess we could sell it. We can always get more. It's not, torches really aren't that important. What else do we have a lot of? Stone, dirt. I don't really want to sell. Raw wood, I don't want to sell. Um, wow, we really don't have much of anything yet, still. Do we have 23 coin? What do we need? I know... These should all be set to... Oh, we don't have any... The carrots are gone? Or they're planted. They're planted. It's not... I guess we don't have any of those to sell. Flaxseed. That's being planted. We don't really have a lot to sell. Man, we are really low. What is this? Oh, here we go. Shears. Mm. We only need the one, because we only have the one tailor. We don't have any herding. So, I guess we'll sell that for three, <laughs> three coins. Very sad. Wheat. Carrots. Flax I apologize if I have a little bit of the sniffles. Um, I've got allergies going on right now, or, or something. Stockpile four. Do we, does everyone, everyone should have a club, right? I can't click on a lot of those things up. Um, fine. You make more clubs. Do you seriously not have anything to do? I haven't set to uh, make cloth, right? Oh, we don't have any. He turned it all into twine, apparently. We had a bunch just a bit ago. He must have turned it. Let's track this, just for now. Potato, ooh, 20 coin. Yes, we'll take it. 
Well, let's go ahead and put down a farm while we are thinking about potato seeds. That's so funny. Potatoes don't have seeds. You just plant a potato. But okay. Whatever. All when our uh, things out of it. Dang, we really need wood. How about you chop some wood? How about that? Since you're just staying around. Not doing anything. And being a lazy bum. Edgar. Um, wood cutter. Independently chop yours. Oops. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Independently chop yours. Oh, by the way, I don't have to press these buttons. I can actually press, like, what was it, F4? Yeah, F1. It's like F1, F2, F3, F4. Uh, but I'm a clicker. I like clicking. Clicking things is fun. Now, he has a knife now, so he should be gathering this up. We still have a goblin over here. This guy who's just chilling out. You know, he's uh, he's not worried at all. So, um, you know, I I think what happened is we have stumbled into goblin territory, and this is really their land, and we're kind of we're encroaching on their land. So they're probably upset, understandably. Can't really blame them for that. But you know, we gotta survive too. I'm sorry, that's just the, uh, you know, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. We didn't have much choice in the matter, as the armies of the undead have destroyed our previous home. Um, I'm going to speed things up here just a little bit. Yeah, the beginning's always really slow. It's just, uh, it just is. Oh, you're done. Let's turn you back into... You're the builder. Actually, let's get you... Let's get you... We need a lot of wood, so I'm just going ahead and get you cutting wood. As well, simply because we really need a good stockpile. And upgrade this. How's our digging going? Page down. Page down. Yeah. Do we just have the one miner? Is that is what happened? Yes. Oh, well, because they were wood cutting. But that's okay. We should have plenty of wood. I really, uh, my goal is to get uh, Thomas some uh, light armor. And send him to take out this goblin. So I really want him gone. He's not welcome here anymore. Even though it's his land. We claim it in the name of Dyerok. I'm sorry, buddy. There's not enough room for the both of us. Well, I think I'm going to... Since something's really happening, I'm going to cut it. And once we get up some wood, I will come... I will be right back. Alright everybody, it's the next day, early morning. Not much happened the last day, but uh, as of right now, it looks like our forager, Louis Randall, has spotted the lone uh, goblin marauder and is fixing to engage. And he actually is equipped with a knife. You see here he's got a knife and he actually has an arming cap and a tunic. So he is as well armed as I can manage at this point. So we're going to watch as he attacks and hopefully doesn't get massacred by this goblin here. I think he'll do okay. Um, our wood, we, I set a few people to chop in wood. So we got our wood back up and we've got um, timber going. So that's good. But let's let's watch... Let's watch the action unfold here. Uh, let's put it in normal. Normal play. Okay, so he's picking berries. Dude, there's a goblin right there. We get him. No, nope, he's, uh, he's going to pick berries. Hey, take that guy out. You can do it. I believe in you. 
And the goblin is running away. See? He's scared. He's scared of you. Either that or he just... <laughs> didn't notice. Okay. What is he doing? Is he just uh, walking away? Okay, then. Well... It's been a very exciting fight so far. Uh, just come on, take him out. There you go. Does he see him? Do you see each other? Do you know about each other? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yes? Get him! Oh no! Get him! No! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Yes! Victory! Victory! Way to go, champ. Let's get a screenshot. Did we get a screenshot? Oh, it's F6. Hold on, pause. I want to get a screenshot of that with the uh, goblin dead in the background. How's this work? Come on, there we go. So you go full control, and then hold right click. Should be able to maneuver him. So we can get that right. So F6. Screenshot. Nice. That'll probably be the thumbnail. Alright, let's get back out of this. Way to go, Randall. Or Louie. Louie, do you like Louie or Randall? I wonder. But uh, let's gather resources. Golems will drop either coin or scrap metal. And scrap metal can be turned into the uh, standard ingots. So it's good to gather resource them. So here we've got uh, Thomas training. I could have sent him out, but hey, he's infantry level 8. Now he's not armored up yet, though, I don't think. No, he's still not. I don't really have much in the way of... I got the tunics at the queue, but I'm like low on flax. So I have to wait for the flax to grow and come in, and it doesn't really provide very much right now. We got the mine entrance uh, finished, and I've started um, my builder Astor, Ostor, Ostor. Here, uh, sitting in the fortifications for the top of this uh, mountain here, or hill, uh, if you prefer. And I'm using uh, castle brick and just uh, filling in, trying to make it look nice. Uh, getting started um, right now. This the uh, sort of stairway here is uh, quite a bit away from finish so I don't want to like completely block this up yet because the only way to get up here is actually walk up the hill so I'm gonna have to watch that but I think I want to go around and dig it around the sort of the, this top layer on the outside and placing the wall I kinda want it to like cover this whole like top area here and I'll have to like I think I'll fill this in with dirt to make it all nice flat big area here and this will I think I'll move the hall up in here and just have this be the sort of the village the starting village area eventually I like to move everything underground but I will like to have like a village area here and then eventually make like a little tower or keep thing and I think that'd be nice I think that would be really nice. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm uh, digging just around the top here and then placing a wall in behind it. I want to come across here. So I'm going to stick this out so I can actually place a wall in this corner. So I'm going along the outside of this top area. And so I'll go across here, here, take this out, to here, take this out, take this out. I want to take this out and place here maybe, yeah. And then take this, <laughs> and this. Ooh, not that, not that. And then. Going to come across here, and here, like so, just like so. 
probably be doing like designations and stuff off camera because this is kind of boring. It's kind of boring for well, it's not boring for me because I'm doing it, but I imagine it's probably really boring to watch. Um, just get this area. Basically, I'm just going to show you that I'm just kind of working around and then placing in the wall behind it. I think I'm going. I think they can get up this way fairly easily. See how he just comes up here, and I don't. I think this is all like sloped, so they shouldn't have a problem getting up this way. So I'm going to leave this kind of section open for now until we get the stairway dug out. Once that's dug out, then I can like really build up this wall. And I think even some of these walls where it's only like one high, they can still walk up. So eventually, I am going to add like a couple more layers up here so that nothing can get in. And maybe there are spiders, so I might add like a ledge, like an overhang to keep the spiders out because spiders do and can climb walls. Yep. Yes, sir. And I like, you can't really assign too much because then they get, then it just takes forever. It's quicker if you have smaller selections and have them do that as they come, as they finish. So yeah, so that's it for now. Not a lot going on. It's always really slow going. Well, we don't have any, we did make a couple more of these, but we really don't have the flax do is yet food still an issue I'm making just I'm gathering food and I'm growing food just like just enough basically to keep people fed um, if you look at their hunger their hunger is all higher than I like it to be but it's uh, manageable until we can sort of get more food production going um, I know I only have one farmer. One farmer is usually enough for like 20 people. Uh, supposedly, that's what I've heard. Um, in my experience, that tends to be the case. Um, I might make someone else a farmer just to kind of speed things up. Um, but we only have carrots and potatoes right now as far as food goes. I do have um, Louis. Where's Louis? I do have, he's around here somewhere. I do have Louis gathering berries and hunting boar, sheep, and chicken. Uh, for now um, so that seems to be enough it's really not we can't store up any food this is going too quick I might turn Thomas here into um, a farmer just for the moment storage wood storage storage wood need more wood storage uh, let's go ahead and plop down another wood storage oh, timber. we'll just put it right next to this one I guess if we can well we'll put it up it doesn't really matter where we put it right as long as it's near here had to make another tool chest tools apparently take up a lot of space which I guess makes sense oh that was loud I had a timer set I don't know if you guys could hear that <laughs> that was really loud though um, that's marking the end of the episode. I'm trying to time the episodes um, just to make sure I don't go over too much. I think what I'm going to do is... And there's my phone! Fantastic! <laughs> it's great. Hey, it's my dad. He is texting me back at you. Right. I wish him a happy 4th. Happy 4th of July, everybody! Although this might go out the day after 4th of July. I'm recording it on the 4th of July, so happy 4th! Yay, independence! And if you're British, uh, uh, it's, it was, it was us. It wasn't you. It was us. Actually, actually, it was a little bit you, but mostly us, so it's okay. I think, I think we can let bygones be bygones at this point. Hmm. Oh, did he dig that out? I didn't want him to dig that out. Did I not deselect that? Oh, well. I can always put that back in. Oh, you got both of those. I don't want those dug out either. We'll put those back in. Uh, let's go ahead and designate this raw wall. This raw, this wall real quick. 
And then that should do it for now, for this episode. Um, of course, um, we'll be continuing this, hopefully more regularly. Regularly? Re more regular. From now on, I like to put out uh, more videos, get better at doing that. Just because, what else do I have to do with my time? Not much right now. Uh, kind of... Anyway, uh, none of that. enough of that. <laughs> Let's put some uh, grass in here. Grass. Let's put grass back. Grass back. And, uh, yeah. So things are going along okay. They could, food could be better. But we're working on that. Um, once we get this settled, I can move the hall from down here to up here. People like to sleep in the hall. If there aren't beds, they'll sleep wherever the hall is designated. And I kind of don't want them sleeping out in the open like this. Uh, they'll be exposed in case something comes up and wants to, you know, or murder them in their sleep. I like to move these beds too. Uh, I might just build a temporary wall around this area. Just like temporarily for now. I might do that, but I'll do that in the next episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you liked the video, please leave a like, and I will get back to you later. Bye.